seaboard from Virginia to Texas was dotted with lumber camps. These lumber camps provided the raw materials needed to rebuild a nation that the Civil War had, at the very least, badly disfigured, or in the case of the South, literally reduced to ashes. There was an industrial revolution, a massive expansion of the railroad systems. The need for timber had become a top priority, and a national chain of lumber camps grew up overnight. to the lumber camps. Though technically governed by state and federal laws, they existed many miles deep into the woods and away from the rest of society. They functioned under their own laws and were far less concerned with the moral fiber of their citizens. In fact, anyone willing to work long and grueling hours under minimal safety considerations were well. Often these camps were run by private companies with little concern for the health or well-being of their lumberjacks. In turn, where you come from, your criminal records, etc., etc., well, that didn't really matter. As long as you were willing to swing an axe for 10 hours a day, no one really cared. to the railroads. Long before the days of logging trucks, these camps depended on the railroad lines to get their products from town to town. Indeed, their entire existence revolved around the railroad. Aside from shipping timber, railroad cars were often used as dormitories, mess halls, and on the weekends, hastily constructed saloons. Thank you. 
this style may have originated in the lumber camps, but it wasn't long before this rough and crude style found its way into the cities. Indeed, it became the favorite style of rent parties, little hole-in-the-wall saloons, it may have still been looked down by the more educated players. Wasn't even accepted in the brothels where jazz and stride were played, but boogie woogie and blues piano. Well, I grew up in the places where the pimps and the prostitutes and drug dealers went when they got off work. sitting me next to him on the piano when I was just a few years old. His left hand was slammed down on the piano, growling and rumbling just like the, so like the. His right hand started to fiercely attack the upper register, jackhammering notes that only uh, the confidence of 50 plus years of playing beer joints could produce. And that's my history of Boogie Woogie. Yeah. 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 